Welcome to this, the second video in the Ranorec Studio data-driven testing series, Defining Variables. You can download the sample solution featured in this video from the user guide, a link to which can be found in this video's description. We will once again be using the demo app. On screen you can see an outline of what we will be testing, adding entries to the database. There are several different types of variable in this example. We should begin by defining action variables. In this example, the action variables we will look at are first name, last name and age. The recording module insert name includes all the actions for inserting first and second name. If we therefore begin by opening that, then select the drop down list next to the constant value you want to change in this example job and click as new variable. Give the variable a meaningful name. The default value of a variable is the value that's used when no data source is available. Therefore you should always make sure to define a meaningful default value. We repeat this for the last name, close and click save. We then open the recording module for insert age and then follow the same steps as with the insert name recording module. Repository variables replace a certain part of an item's Ranorex path. The defining attribute with a variable. In this case the drop down menu. Department. We will change this constant attribute value with a variable. To do so, open the recording module, right mouse click on the appropriate action and select make repository item variable. Ranorex spy opens. Click the variable symbol and enter a name for the variable, in this case LST department. Click OK and then click apply. In the repository you can now see the variable in the item's Ranorex path. Make radio buttons variable. Here we will make the repository item for the gender selection variable. We will follow the same actions as before. Open the module, right mouse click and make repository item variable. Click on the variable button and enter the name. Click OK and apply. In the repository, you can now see the variable in the items Ranorex path. Define validation variable. Our example test includes a step that validates whether the database counter updates correctly as entries are added. For this validation to work, we need to make it variable. We open the appropriate recording module, right mouse click and as a new variable. Again we give the variable a meaningful name and click OK. Managing variables. For action or validation variables, open the recording where they are defined and click variables. For repository variables, click variables in the repository view. In both cases, a dialog box will open where you will be able to manage your variables. We have now defined all the variables we need for our data driven test. When you switch to the test suite view, you can now see the number of variables defined per module. Note, they are still unbound. That is to say, they have not been assigned a data source. In the next video, in the Ranorex Studio data driven test series, we'll define this data source and assign it to our test.